All right. So the main event of WrestleMania is The Rock. No, it's not. It's Roman Reigns versus Cody. What are they going to do with The Rock? Well, The Rock is not wrestling in Australia, everybody. Not sure how many times I have to say that. I've said that for months now. I believe that the night one main event is going to be The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. It is not confirmed, but I believe they're doing a takeoff on WrestleMania 1, and The Rock will play the role of Mr. T, the outside superstar. <laughs> yeah. And then night two will be Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes, and Cody Rhodes will finish his story. Now, how they get there, I guess we're going to find out, but I can tell you this. I pity the fans. I can tell you this. I don't know if this was their plan going in, but uh, Rock is going full heel. He's got Cody Crybaby shirts that are going to be available for sale, and he's going all in on this. And uh, and that tells me that I actually don't think that um, that this is going to be his last match. I think they're going to do Rock and Roman Reigns, maybe even next year at WrestleMania. So, uh, well, he's on the board now. We'll see. So, you know, you can have all the Dwayne washing you want, I guess, because this is his business now in between making movies. And we know how well that's gone for him. So there's definitely going to be some sort of Roman Reigns rock match because otherwise, how are we going to determine who the actual head of the table is? You know, will Afa and Sika weigh in on this? What will happen when it comes to the bloodline? So that whole story still needs to play itself out on top of, or maybe even overshadowing whatever happens with Cody in his run at Roman Reigns, which is all about taking the universal slash world slash whatever heavyweight championship that his dad had in his hands at the garden and was pulled away from him, which was the reason that he was going after Roman Reigns, but then decided, no, I'm not going to do that, but then decided I am going to do that. And yeah. First here says the bookie makes so little sense. It's amazing, bro. Listen, knock it off. Okay. There was a time where the booking made absolutely no sense. I talked about it every week. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. You don't have to be so indignant here. Hold on. Do I think that what they did with Cody on Friday where he stepped aside, that was, I'll say it flat out stupid, okay? That was stupid. But the story they are telling now is not stupid. The reason you would do a tag match is because Cody buried the family. And Rock got very upset about that. You bury that guy's family, you're burying my family. He had a whole picture of the family tree. That's why he's angry. Oh, my God. Teal Margaret's going to come in and fight Nia Jax. It's going to be wild. Why is Cody facing Roman Reigns? Because he won the Royal Rumble. That makes sense. I'm, I'm baffled at the Cody stepping aside part of it. That was stupid. But once they did the press conference and they told the story that Rock and Roman are family, and this Cody Rhodes, who, by the way, his his uh, music starts with there's only one royal family. Rock and Roman ain't going to stand for that. There's more we'll than take one. you out. And then they had the big schmoz and, you know, this poor geek, Seth, who's just the geekiest geek that ever geeked. <laughs> I mean, God. You know, that was my, my <sighs> Seth laugh. I'm not going to get into his outfit. You can. You should. Get all the way into it. Go full Mr. Blackwell Brian Alvarez it's on a, that outfit. Tell him what you think about that sorry outfit that Roman Reigns said he stole from Becky. Talk well, about he, it. He may have. Here's the thing with that, that outfit. He had bows okay? on his shoes. You I, I get it. Okay. Famous people wear stupid stuff. Okay. I saw it at the Super Bowl, allegedly. But, uh, but here's the deal. Okay. They did that press conference and Roman Reigns is out there. And granted, he's just wearing a tracksuit, but, like, he's an athlete, dude. He looks like a million bucks. Behind him is The Rock, who's got his 80s action figure outfit on. He's got the tight pants and the tight tank top. He's got muscles out of his ears, just looking gigantic. All natural. Cody's out there. He's got his suit on, total pro. And then Seth is standing there in that absolutely stupid outfit with those stupid sunglasses and those stupid shoes. And that stupid jacket and the stupid pants. And he looks stupid. And like, 
how how can you look at these guys on stage and and not think okay we got three stars and then we got this clown he how looked can you like not the carnival barker not one of the main performers he did he looked like he should be uh you know Anybody want to go faster? Yeah. That's what he looked like. <laughs> now, if you think, oh, Brian, you know, you always say this. You're, you're an idiot. You're out of touch. Brother, between the outfit and the booking, nobody cares about Seth's belt. Nobody cares about Seth. They went on SmackDown, and they announced that uh, we got to talk about Seth. I'll, actually, I'll just read it from the report right here. It was actually hilarious. It was It was completely hilarious. So it's the the show opens and uh, and we've got uh, where's my SmackDown report? God, how many shows did I watch this weekend? Can't even keep track of this crap. All right, SmackDown. Hunter's in the ring with Adam Pearce and Nick Aldis, and he mentions it's definitely Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And uh, crowd goes nuts. They're doing Cody chants. They're all into Cody. They're all into the match. And then he says, "Well," or Aldis says. Now we have to talk about Seth Rollins and the world title. Absolute, complete, abject silence. There was no pop. There was no reaction. Nobody cared. And then he announces the uh, Elimination Chamber match and, and on and on. And it's like, he is... I mean, it's it's bad enough that he's portrayed as having a title no one wants... But on top of that, he out, he's out there looking like a complete and total clown. And it just drives me nuts. So, anyway. We'll get more uh, matches tonight to go to Elimination Chamber. We should do an angle where, like, if, if Seth loses, he can't dress like an idiot anymore. He has to just, like, dress like a star. <laughs> like an actual star. Not a, not a fake Hollywood star that wears silly outfits. You know, there was a story of a basketball player because, you know, like in any athletic endeavor, there's a lot of ribbing of rookies and newcomers that come along, you know, to welcome them into the, the clan and everything. And there was a story that there was one of the basketball players who dressed so poorly instead of like, you know, taking his suit out and, and giving him some nasty clothes some tattered clothes to wear out as a rib they actually got the guy a really nice just plain suit and that was the rib was you actually have to you know dress like a human being for once and actually have something nice on and, and formal that's what they should do for seth it should just be like a a pair of like basic air force ones you know just like some black track pants and you know a jacket or something like that just something completely different than what he is doing and what he is wearing and i guess i'm wrong i guess we're wrong because it seems to have worked as far as the ridiculous reactions that he gets but yeah i mean the optics when it comes to some of he and becky lynch's outfits i mean they certainly have have gone way past you know my definition of what fashion is uh but yeah i guess to each their own these glasses are bad just a minute i have changed glasses let's all change something <laughs> i need to change so many things these are new ones too but i can't see with them <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's gonna change the, the red, the red hat pin. You had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table of all the prizes. A picnic table. <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it? <laughs> Brian. I, what? What was that? <laughs> Come on, Brian. What's going on? Keep, keep going. On a lonely, okay. lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay, well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.